there. I'm Queenie from Vanity and Queens. I'm here to talk about the soaping business. How and when did I start? I started after the birth of my third child in 1999. I attended a seminar and I started soaping while the baby's sleeping. So why did I go into soaping? Um, I think I, I feel for myself that I have an expensive taste in personal care so I want to learn more about my passion and how to do it myself. The initial capital um, that I started was of course first the trainings that I have. Uh, I went to two separate trainings basically just to the the herbal soap making and the transparent soap making so that's that ranges from 2500 to 3500 even before in 1999 20 years ago and then another capital is the materials which are the chemicals and equipment like uh, for example a um, stick blender which is 2000 and um, a mold about 800 and Shopee or you can have your own made and mixers like uh, for example this one <laughs> a wood mixer or plastic mixer and um, additional to that I bought my own personal books on aromatherapy and soap recipes and another is uh, that the trials that you use when you start making soap you can count that as part of your capital but at least you can use it so the real capital of course is um, which you don't put in your cost when you, when you initially do business um, for me uh, for me it's time um, because it takes time to find your niche and final products which are uniquely yours so um, you will be wasting a lot of soap and oils um, to just not to make money but to you know to to develop a product and um, your passion because passion is time consuming so the time you spend reading attending webinars talks meeting chatting with other people who have the same passion and education advanced classes, books, ebooks, or learning allied skills such as perfume making, um, essential oils, mixing or making your own extracts. Um, there. And then deciding, okay, if, let's say you want to do business already. So how do you decide? First, you have to choose products that represent you. For example, um, for me, my, my tip is make a mood board of your strengths. Example, uh, look around you. What are the ingredients abundant in your location? For example, you're from Bicol and um, you have a lot of pili oil. So why would people buy from a Manila soap maker who has to buy pili oil, you know, double handling? versus somebody who has a pili tree in his or her backyard so you have to know these strengths or if you have a lot of um, madre de cacao or papaya so you have to build on your strengths what you have because people associate this with you they know you have it so you're you have the authority so others are one of your strengths of course are hobbies like do you love perfumes you can make perfumed soaps do you love anime anime you can make colored um, soaps or flowers or do you love coffee or do you love gardening or um, you want to bank on school colors then that's how you start developing a line of products for yourself so technically there's no competition because your product represents you and nobody else is you okay then the marketing of course um, that's a lot of um, activity as well then the advantage of choosing products that represents you gives you an edge against the competition because ultimately there's nobody else like you right? deciding the man the business plan and um, was a short term and long term for me. The short term is plan activities for this year, for the year. So um, that will include focusing on product development and 
um, once you have that product you join select fairs to test the waters for example for me my target before was to just join one one fair a month one exhibit a month so then the rest you just you know you the the leftovers you just set it aside so don't feel bad so you know that you can sell it again because it's so then for the long term the business side you have to do the costing production line um, make a costing for resellers or distributors and um, keep in mind that many people will have a lot to say at this point so writing and organizing the plan does not mean it can be executed right away there is no time frame as it is subjected to your capital so if you have a good plan and you have the money go that's easy to do but if you have a good plan and people are saying so bakit hindi mo to ginagawa you should be doing this you should be doing that but there's no capital diba so take it easy a lot of people have opinions so you'll have to really wait until you have that capital and then it's, it will follow a natural course so the other costs of course that will that will be deciding and uh, making decisions about will be your DTI you can register that online which will lead you to your BIR okay and then getting your mayor's permit sanitary and um, of course all this you will probably need a bookkeeper or an accountant a graphic designer for your for your labels there mine is from premise media <laughs> uh, my daughters and um, a social media manager so I have another daughter who does that Stephanie so also paying influencers for social media ads you put that in your cost so just people will know you're around it will not necessarily translate to sales again but um, just you know what's important is they know you are around okay even without profit you have to build your name and doing the name building your reputation sometimes doesn't have immediate profit okay so another one one benefit I like in um, doing the soaping business is working from home of course okay plan B if you initially don't get profit you can use your soap inventory at home you know you can use it if you don't sell it or keep it but initially you only need to do production a few times to make an initial inventory because one mold can yield 12 soaps a mold this big can mold can yield you 50 soaps that's a lot okay so so you'll have a lot of inventory then what's good is you also need just a small place to start okay a bit of background about myself uh, I started this uh, business because I love essential oils so my soap have essential oils and at that time for me it's a wellness essential oils is a wellness um, um, Thing, but at that time it was not a priority people think it was really vain you know to, to like all this um, um, no colorant no fragrance essential oil products it's it was vanity so that's why I got in my mind that um, it, to call my business my brand vanity and Queens because nah, at, you know at that time it was just all vanity but of course now um, finally we're recognized as wellness I am so you can check I, I have a blog I'm starting to do my blog it's vanityandqueens.com and my Facebook page is vanity and queens as well as my IG okay so that's it